I, I literally am leaving like, I'm just scared. I'm scared to look at my brain scans. I'm scared to, you know, think about my dad's dementia. I was just, but now it's like I feel empowered because I'm thinking about those things. Carlos, what a joy for you to come. Thank you for doing this. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So I love the experiment that yeah. you're about to go on. Yeah. And I mean, it's just really intriguing for me. Society's being assaulted with yeah. gadgets that have not been properly studied. Absolutely. And is not helping mm -hmm. in many ways our society yeah so i read your history okay and i've looked at your scans okay. i looked at your testing so i sort of have a good idea yeah what's going on but i want to hear from you okay your goal yes. in being here and how i can be the most helpful to you yes uh initially um i am i am doing an experiment on myself i'm on my phone seven to nine hours a day um on social media consuming creating content um, and I've just noticed that over the last, my anxiety levels have increased. My worry has definitely increased. Um, and I just want to see what would happen if somebody like me, who is probably the poster child for worst case scenario of content consumption on a device, um, just stopped. Uh, so I am stopping and moving to a monastery for a few weeks, then moving to an Amish farm for a few weeks with no technology, no content consumption. Um, and just, I think trying to reset a little bit of my humanity, uh, hopefully come back to you, uh, when I'm finished and see if there's been any semblance of change, um, from a brain aspect. I know my soul will, um, probably have changed a little bit. And so I'm just, I'm not a fan of suffering. <laughs> um, mental health, kill the ants. So important. And the exercise is so simple. Whenever you feel sad yeah. or mad or nervous or out of control, write down what you're thinking. You're a writer. Yeah. Just write it down and then go, is it true? Mm. Do you have a bad thought we could work on? Yeah. Give me a bad thought. My bad thought is I'm going to get dementia. I'm going to get dementia. I love that. Because we're going to kill it. We're going to kill it. Yes. So what you do in this exercise, write down the belief. Uh -huh. Whenever you feel sad, mad, nervous, or out of control. Oh, it's so cute. It's a present <laughs> to take to the monastery. Oh, I can, I, can, I can take that with me? Yeah. It's awesome. That's a bad thought. Bad thought. And... Whenever you have a thought, if you never question it, uh -huh. you believe it. Right. Even if it's a lie, and then you act as if it's true. Yep. And a lot of people go, I'm going to get dementia. Yeah. I might as well get drunk. Right. I'm going to get dementia. Yeah. Might as well eat what I want to eat. Right. Going to get dementia. There it is. There it is. It produces actions that lead towards dementia. Five questions. Okay. And it, like, I don't, you have tattoos. I'm thinking of. Okay. Like the first one I would get is, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Is that true? You're going to get dementia. Um, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Because what I deal with, like you said, you're a hope dealer. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. I'm a truth dealer. Yes. Question number two, is it absolutely true? Oh. With 100% certainty, you know you're doomed. This is no, a hundred percent. No. Yeah. Question three, how do I feel when I have the thought scared? How do I act when I have the thought? Mm. Yeah. I, I, I drink. <laughs> okay. 
I, I, <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if that's an actual action, but, but I mean, yeah, I mean, that, that is, I will definitely try to dull it and make myself feel happier. Yeah, we are. And question number four, how would you feel if you didn't have Oh, I just free? Turn to opposite. I mean, just, that, that makes me emotional just even reading that, you know? Like, that's just so opposite of. Do you have any evidence that's true? Yes. Tell me. I mean, the, all of the evidence that you just gave me, all the evidence that you just shared on how I won't get it. Like, how I can, I can, my brain can actually be younger when I'm my dad's age than it is right now. And so, you know, all the research and evidence that you've handed me is, uh, I mean, it's just it's powerful. It makes me feel powerful. That I have a plan. Yeah, there's a plan. Yeah. I want you to burn these questions into your brain. Yes. SPECT is a study that looks at blood flow and activity. So we're getting a very sophisticated look in 3D at how your brain works. And it basically shows us three things. Good activity, uh-huh. too little, uh-huh. or too much. Okay. And then our job, my yep. job, is to balance. Yeah. Yep. When we look at your scan, you have a lot of great brain activity. Uh-huh. But you have a big dent in your frontal lobes. Okay. This is what I think is giving you the ADD symptoms. Uh Do you see this dent? Yep. It's not supposed to be there. Okay. And we were talking on the way in that you played soccer. Yes. In high school and college. Yes. And you hit your head with... Balls many times. Many times. Yeah. And your brain is soft Uh about the consistency of soft butter, oh, wow. tofu, custard, somewhere between egg whites and jello. Okay. And it's housed in a really hard skull yep. that has multiple sharp bony ridges. Mm. And probably when you were playing, they weren't wearing the headbands to, right. you know, lessen the impact. And soccer balls aren't light. Right. Especially when they're flying at your head. They're not volleyballs. <laughs> right. And... When they get wet, they put a lot of force Hmm. on your brain and your neck. And so I've done a lot of soccer players. Yep. It's not a good thing. Right, right. And, you know, the American Youth Soccer Organization, is that right? Yep. Um, A couple of years ago, they said, under 11, no more heading soccer balls. And I'm like, you don't like 11-year-olds? Like 12-year-olds, right. when does the brain finish developing? Yeah. When you're 25. Wow. In girls. Wow. And more like when you're 27 in males. Okay. And so any other reasons for head trauma? I mean, it looks like a dent right where you would hit it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that would be, I mean, I, I was the guy that would juggle the ball on my head. Every, every, every day for 50 times at a time. Just you would do. juggle the ball? I can still do it right now. Like, like I just, like a seal, <laughs> just right here on the top of my head. I mean, literally right here. So I don't know if that's where the dent is, but. <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> you can see it. And if we like go this way. Yep. You don't want to have a valley between. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're in really good shape and, you know, I, I always want to be younger than my 68 years. Yes. Um, this is what happens when you get older. So yeah. We, we need to reverse that. Okay. Um, okay. So we need to really activate yep. your brain. But if we look at this view, uh-huh. you worry. You told me that, but this is the worry center. Oh, it it's is. It's called the anterior <laughs> cingulate gyrus. It's the brain's gear shift. Okay. Let you go from thought to thought. Move from idea to idea. Yeah. Be flexible. Go with the flow. Yeah. Yours works too hard. Yeah. Which means you can get stuck. Yeah. Negative thoughts, negative behaviors. Yep. Yeah. And that's not good. Right. So if I can calm it down, you'll be more flexible. 
that'll be a good thing. Yeah. So from an ADD standpoint, I'm like, you hurt your frontal lobes probably playing soccer. Mm -hmm. That'll give you ADD. Mm -hmm. And you have trouble shifting attention. There's also some anxiety. Oh, yeah. So this is called the basal ganglia on both sides, more on the right. And when it's more on the right, are you right-handed? Mm -hmm. When it's more on the right and right-handed people, they tend to hold the anxiety in. Okay. So they tend to be sweet people. Yeah. I usually love them. And when it's on the left, they tend to be anxious, but they're irritable. They're anxious and they oh. give it away. Okay. That's not always. But sure, yeah. It's often. Yeah, yeah. And this is your emotional brain. Okay. It's not terribly busy. But when I see this diamond, I worry about past trauma. Mm. Uh, I want to see the impact of the experience. Yes. Afterwards, uh -huh. I'm going to give you serotonin. Mood support, because that will help your mood. What well, does that actually like you're eating serotonin? What's happening there? It's got 5-HTP, uh -huh. which is a serotonin precursor. Oh, okay. And saffron. Huh. I love this supplement because it can help you be more flexible. Okay. Less anxious, yep. better shifting okay. attention. I think you'll also do well if you can find a hyperbaric chamber. I know they have them in Nashville. Oh, yeah. And go, because that'll help give you uh -huh. better overall blood flow. And then bright minds. So think of what are my risk factors? Mm -hmm. What am I going to do about them? Okay. And so you have low blood flow. Uh -huh. and give you some supplements. So in those... Um, Brain and body power, uh -huh. two packets a day, multiple vitamin, fish oil, brain boost okay. that works in six different ways. And I'm actually going to give you max because it just gives you more of it. Okay. This has been awesome. Thank you. Wow. It's been so fun. Yeah. I'm, to I'm so excited about this yeah, experiment. I'm, yeah, me too. I'm excited. I'm excited because I feel like it's the experiment is just going to be a runway to this. You know, it'll, it'll just allow me to take off, I think, in the cl cleanest way possible. So I want to, yeah, I want to begin to implement all these things. I, I literally am leaving, like, <clears throat> excited about, I think I was, fear remember I said when I got off the elevator, like, I'm just scared. I'm scared to look at my brain scans. I'm scared to, you know, think about my dad's dementia. I was just, but now it's like I feel empowered because I'm thinking about those things, you know, instead of avoiding them. So what I, what I find is when you do things to avoid your thoughts, uh -huh. they control you. Yeah. But when you actually face them head on, yeah. they dissipate. Wow. Sort of like mm -hmm. flash, a flashlight on a cockroach. Yeah. The cockroach goes. Right. And <laughs> um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. Cool. Yeah. I'm excited to come back too.